For the first time in more than a decade, major immigration legislation will come up for a vote later this week on Capitol Hill. In return for Republican votes to pass aid to Ukraine, U.S. senators negotiated changes to the U.S. asylum system and border security policies. This supplemental package is a real opportunity for Congress to finally address America's borders and make, make progress towards a more efficient and well-resourced system. It will cut years of delay in the asylum process while ensuring fair outcomes. The bill would fund an increase in immigration detention capacity from 34,000 to 50,000. It would also end the practice of allowing migrants to remain in the United States while claiming asylum and would force the U.S. to shut down the U.S.-Mexico border if there is a seven-day rolling average of 5,000 migrant encounters or 8,500 encounters in a single day. The deal also includes $60 billion in aid to Ukraine, $14 billion to Israel, as well as aid to Indo-Pacific countries to fight Chinese aggression. If passed, the legislation would send $10 billion in humanitarian aid to the West Bank, Gaza, and Ukraine. I've spoken at length for months about the urgent need to invest in American hard power, stand with our allies, and start showing our adversaries that the world's foremost superpower intends to start acting like one again. My colleagues know where I stand. They know as well as I do that American adversaries in Moscow, Beijing, and Tehran are working together. The White House released a statement late Sunday saying President Joe Biden supports the bipartisan agreement. Former President Donald Trump, the current frontrunner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination, said last week he was advising Republican lawmakers about a possible immigration deal. And a lot of people do call me, they respect me, and they say, what do you think? If the bill's not going to be a great bill and really solve the problem, I wouldn't do it at all. Not for political reasons, just for U.S. reasons. Speaker Mike Johnson said the bill, if passed, would be dead on arrival in the Republican-majority U.S. House of Representatives, which will move to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas this week, saying he is responsible for a crisis at the border. The consequences of this crisis have been stark and sobering, and there's hardly a community anywhere in this country that's not felt the impact. But this is, again, a crisis of choice. Those choices were made by those in power, and today the House of Representatives is stepping up and saying no more. If the bill fails passage in the U.S. House, lawmakers may need to negotiate separate legislation to send aid to Ukraine and Israel. Catherine Gibson.